The call for help came in late at night. Heavy rains had swollen rivers past the 1913 record. The levee wouldn't hold. A town was in danger. A few days before, when conditions indicated local communities would need help, 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit Commanding Officer Colonel Mark Desens made clear that his Marines would not stand idly by while people suffered. You know, the first thing we had to do was recover ourselves. Uh, once we did that, and I was touring the base, we were listening to local radio, and we knew that the communities were struggling. And, uh, you know, it's a very frustrating position to be in when you know you have something to offer. Nearly 90 Marines flew to the small town of Elnora, Indiana, at nearly 3 a.m. on the first wave. More followed the next day. In Elnora, the Marines started work right away. They had five hours to raise and reinforce nearly a mile of levee as much as three feet before the water crested at 9 a.m. It was hard, wet work. Marines worked alongside Indiana National Guardsmen, local residents including Amish and Mennonite farmers, and even a contingent of convicts dispatched from the local prison to aid the effort. Experts predicted the levee would break despite the efforts. At times, it almost did. Undeterred, the Marines, soldiers, and volunteers doubled their efforts. At the end of the crisis, the levee stood. Though much damage had already been done, authorities say their town was saved. The Marines say they were happy to do it. Just being able to help and know that you're doing something good for this town, and we're uh, getting training uh, with our new Marine Expeditionary Unit for uh, disaster relief in other countries. For the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit training in Indiana, I'm Staff Sergeant Bryce Piper.